Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I may have just found my favorite Unity asset of all time, and that is because I am a massive digital hoarder. If you are like me and have a huge collection of bundles, etc., going on, you're going to love this one, too. Speaking of bundles, this one is actually available in the Power Up Tools Mega Bundle. I had no idea this existed before this bundle came along. I got nine days left to pick this bundle up if you are interested, but the asset we are talking about specifically today is this one right here. Asset Inventory. It's kind of an unassuming thing here. Uh, it's in the $40 tier, but you see here, it's basically, uh, you can get this asset, and for $13 more, you're getting a ton of other assets in here as well, and this one is going to change the way you use Unity. In all honesty, it really does. So what we're looking at here, asset uh, inventory you see here from this review from Splat12. Uh, after almost 10 years using Unity, this asset that managed to blow my mind, amazing. I actually have to echo this review. I agree with it completely, and I did not make this one three hours ago. I am not Splat12, but I do agree with what he has to say. Now, what this asset basically allows you to do is organize all of the crap you bought online. So if you're already a digital hoarder and you've been downloading stuff, but you don't want to pull all this crap into each one of your projects, asset inventory is a godsend. So let's go check out what that actually looks like in action. Here we have an HDRP project, uh, just a project, nothing special going on here. Uh, what I want to showcase, this by the way is HDRP, that's going to be a little bit relevant to what we we're going on, but what we've got here, this is uh, my collection of stuff. So what you're going to notice is uh, I have I have a lot of stuff. I, I am definitely a hoarder. And what you're going to find is anything that I've actually got. So this guy right here, which I will not say the name of, uh, this guy over here, well, this is it. So what you want to do is go ahead, download, and import this guy into your project. But I think you see here with a download, like this beach forest and ecosystem, uh, the City 2, uh, we got some Sinti stuff, Dragon Crashers, and so on. These are all available download on my system. And what asset inventory allows you to do basically is search all of the things you currently have downloaded and use them without importing them. So for example, if I wanted to use this Dragon Crasher example, what I would normally have to do, any asset from it, I would have to go in here, download it, and then I import it into my project, even if I just need one asset from it. And this is where asset inventory really shines. So once you load this guy up, uh, it's going to come in here and it's going to create uh, a local index. Let it do that. It does take some time, by the way. Also, it does take some space, depending on the number of assets you've got. So when I say locally installed stuff, uh, you'll be able to find them. So it's again available at, uh, on Windows anyways, app data, go on in here, go to um, Unity, and then Asset Store 5.x, all of this stuff. So these are all of the files that you currently have locally installed on your system. Now, if you want to bring down another asset externally, uh, there is a process to that too, and Asset Inventory helps you with that as well. But this will only search and index the stuff that you have installed. So for example, I have these city 3D model environments urban installed here. Now, there are a couple of things that keep this from being an absolutely perfect asset, uh, but it is darn close as the thumbnail shows. So what I've got here, I'm gonna come in here. Uh, you can see here, these are the packages this is the same thing as this package manager. So you have a duplication of that going on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and you've got a number of different options. So if I need to say an audio file, these are all of the various different audio files I have available. You can see they're paged at the bottom here. These are all of the audio files I have downloaded from other packages. And if I want just one audio file, so example, let's say I want this file right here. I could come in here. I could preview it. Uh, it takes a second for it to actually grab the previewable version of it. Do, 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 do. Because what it did is basically it opened up that asset file and extracted out this single asset. So I could grab it right there, or if I wanted to go ahead and import it into my project, boom, I just import it. And then now I have that guy available right here. Now you're going to notice it's coming in in a, a weird location. Uh, do be relevant of where you actually bring things in. This happens to be, I think, just where I last had something selected, and that's where it pulls into. So you're going to want to have a challenge there. But if you want, so now you have this asset available. You can see uh, right here, just added an audio clip in. So you can pull in an individual asset from elsewhere, from all of your imported stuff and manage it this way, which is just beautiful. You don't have to import the entire thing, dig around to find that just one asset. This searches all your downloaded assets and enables you to use them one by one. You can notice here, it's got it by a variety of different categories as well. So if you're just looking for uh, textures here or materials, I come in here, here are all the materials. Uh, as part of the indexing, it does create a uh, material preview for it. Once again, you can open it up. You can import just the file, which generally 
is going to be pretty useless because you don't need the .mat file. What you're going to want to do is bring in the .mat file plus all of the dependencies. That means the textures that go with it and so on. Now, one thing you're going to notice, and this is one of those things I think that keeps it from being absolutely perfect to just being darn near perfect, is an HDRP pipeline. This was a standard asset. If you've used Unity for any particular period of time, you've seen this fuchsia color. What that generally means is the asset you brought in uh, is not compatible with your pipeline. So what you need to just generally do is convert it over uh, to the HDRP pipeline. And then boom, you now have an asset. I do, I would love to see that this tool automatically had a conversion process for doing that. It's a big ask, of course. And then the, my dream is that I could actually search into all of the assets that you own, but that one's, <laughs> that one's probably way beyond the scope of what you could ever imagine this guy to do. But we could do some really neat stuff in here. So let's say I want to come in here and instead look for a prefab. Uh, so I'm interested in the whole thing. So not just the, um, the, um, the texture out or the single material, but I want a full character. So we got this uh, 3D character right here. Uh, what I could do is import that one in with dependencies. Boom, it comes in. There you see our character brought in as a prefab asset. Let's go here to our scene and we can literally instantiate and use that character. So you could bring in these full prefab dependencies with all the relevant text. So you got the character that is built around, all the different models, all the different, uh, the uh, animations and so on. It's smart enough to go into those assets that you've already downloaded and just pull out the stuff you need and resolve the dependencies. Just again, it's a game changer if you're like me that has bought all of this crap because what this allows you to do is actually utilize the things that you've bought. Now, the downside is, again, you have to download them locally, but there are some tools here uh, to make that a little bit nicer. So here is the traditional package manager. So if you want to add something, uh, so say I wanted to work with some demons, I'd have to go ahead and download it right here to make it available uh, before asset inventory can actually find and search and, and locate it. Um, so that is definitely one of the, the kind of snares here for sure. Uh, but what they do have is a little bit here. So we got the packages. You can actually find your packages right here. So let's say, again, I want that demons. I could come here. This one is going to be smaller. So I'll go ahead there. I can actually go ahead and download this guy in uh, from this tool right there. Then over here, uh, you're going to want to do is update the... Um, the index, same way as the other one. If you buy a new asset, you're going to want to update the asset store. And this will then go through and basically index so you can find that asset that you just brought in. So this does have tool for refining and pulling in uh, packages that you handle, but you can't search into packages. So again, the only thing that this search is going to find is the actual uh, assets that you've uh, downloaded locally. That's the only kind of limitation on it. And again, I would love to see it so that the importer, again, if I'm pulling in a material, Material from a standard pipeline and I'm working in HDRP to see it automatically do that conversion so I don't have to do that after the fact. Uh, but that is a pretty big ask on the whole. So let's say I need a car. Boom, search for car. I don't have any cars. I haven't downloaded. Okay, let's go with trees instead. So I come here, boom, search for tree. You're going to see here I got three pages of trees from uh, Nature Assets. This is a humble bundle that's going on right now, by the way, as well. They've really been going after Unity developers in a huge way lately. Uh, so this one, we can basically bring it in. Uh, it, actually, the funny thing is I can't bring this in because that's the project making it natural. Uh, this is the demonstration project I created to show off uh, this project. Uh, this asset collection earlier on. So it's not gonna import them in uh, because frankly, I already have them installed. So this one I do not have installed. So let's pull this one in. So you're gonna see here, I can import just the prefab or I can pull it in with the dependencies. I'm gonna pull it in with the dependencies. It will bring it in. So again, you see VS prefabs, tall bush, it comes in. Again, the part that I do find a little bit sad is I do have to come through here after the fact and do this asset conversion. Once again, here, rendering, materials, convert to HDRP, continue. So that is definitely one of the small challenges of working with this guy. And it doesn't always uh, work flawlessly. I, I don't, there are inconsistent lines, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, it's not always going to be an absolute flawless experience, but that is not on um, this asset at all. It's on Unity and the multiple pipelines and part of the dealing with it. But I would love to see it make an attempt to try and fix some of this, um, this stuff automatically. So just Give it a shot to try and run it through uh, the conversion process. Okay, and it says it must. So again, not always a flawless experience. You're going to run into that every once in a while. So I said almost perfect asset, but you can see what I mean here. If you have a lot of stuff in your um, Unity hoard 
and you're just you're not really taking advantage of it well this basically allows you to index all of the stuff that you've locally downloaded and gives you this nice search tools on top of it you've also got some organizational stuff as well and then you've even got this reporting here so you can actually um identify what you're actually using so the various different so here you can see these are all of the various different uh plugins and such that i'm currently working with or assets that i've imported things from so we should have uh so there you see that we just imported that poly city character right there for example it is now showing up in this so you can identify which packages you've actually gone about and used but this allows you to not only install new packages but then index and search within them and use things basically straight out as prefabs and again the only thing you're running into is the multiple pipelines and that ain't uh on asset management that's on uh that's on unity in general so again this is one of those ones asset inventory is one of those uh tools that kind of changes the way you use unity and i honestly think that this one uh it should be built in and it would be even cooler uh, because i know unity are moving and working on their search tools and they've added a lot of this stuff in general i would love to see this functionality built in and then they create an index of the actual asset store identify all of the packages you own and allow you to search in and just download and pull in the single lot that would just be a dream scenario but as it stands now once you have downloaded assets this is really a game changer you don't need to import in the entire damn asset to just get that one thing you want you don't have to pull the whole package in you can literally just pull in the one asset you want and if your asset happens to be uh compounded so it's got if it's a prefab with multiple dependencies you can pull in those dependencies in general uh, or you can pull in the entire asset if you want it as well it's just a great organizational tool and it will change the way you work with unity and one i highly recommend so that is part of the uh oops don't want to show you that one show you this one because i bought it so everything's grayed out this here again uh is the power up tools mega bundle there's a bunch of stuff in here organized into tiers although frankly with the way the pricing works you're only going to buy the 40 dollars tier or nothing uh but if you want to you know pull start pulling in these assets that you've worked with or, or are using asset inventory manager is brilliant especially again if you buy a lot of mega bundles and humble bundles uh this one is a highly recommended asset and if you're watching this video after the fact that it's no longer in a mega bundle and you're wondering is this worth 27 bucks if you have a big enough asset library and you download stuff locally a hundred percent yes this is kind of a game changer for the way you work with unity and again as i mentioned probably one of my favorite if not my favorite assets this in script inspector 3 i really like uh, i like full screen editor i like a few others as well uh, but asset inventory is just one of those ones that again i have so much crap and i just lose track of almost all of it asset inventory really kind of changes that so that is definitely really cool also toss a link to the uh, humble bundle that's going on right now so if you want to grow your asset hoard uh everything that we saw uh here this this bundle itself all of these various different uh packages going on are part of um a really cool bundle that is currently running there as well so if you're looking for example for a huge variety of rocks uh, that's what's in this bundle and the cool thing here is once again uh once you've got asset inventory installed all of those things are are searched in index so even if you haven't imported them in your project they are boom here ready to go uh not quite dra I would love to see drag and drop too but that's asking for quite a bit but they do have basically they come in they figure out the dependencies you resolve all the dependencies you import it in and then boom it is part of your project highly recommend asset inventory I'm curious what you think of this one would it change the way you work with unity let me know comments down below talk to you all later goodbye